Hey, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Supreme Ambient Light Rejection Screen Paint or um, Supreme uh, Ambient Light Rejection uh, Technology Screens. So a few people were asking me questions about building a screen out of styrofoam. Well, I've done a styrofoam screen using the 9 and now I'm doing one with the 12. So this is a OLED-like uh, projection screen made out of styrofoam. This is all styrofoam. So anyway, you can get these styrofoam squares over at um, Home Depot or Lowe's and the kind of styrofoam you want to look for is an insulation styrofoam because it's really smooth. You don't want to get the regular styrofoam with all the nooks and crannies in it because that's where you're going to get like, you got to coat it over and over and over again because you're just going to have these little white pieces of styrofoam just popping up or breaking off. You want to go with that smooth styrofoam. Now, uh, some people have different ways on how they build a styrofoam screen. One customer was telling me that he was going to, because they come in little squares, he was going to velcro it to his wall. But sometimes your wall can be a little uneven and maybe some of the squares might push a little farther out. I suggest uh, getting a thin piece of uh, a panel wood or uh, congregated cardboard, I think that's what it is, that plastic cardboard, and building your screen on that and then velcroing that to the wall. So I'm over here with the PS5, sorry PS5, I want the PS5 so bad, I have a habit of saying it all the time, every time I mention the PS4. I'm over there with the PS4 doing a little gaming right now. Usually, um, I'll have, um, well you should have my lights off usually when I'm in here relaxing because only time I have my lights on, there's some watching TV, guests are coming over, but since COVID, I don't have too many people that come over uh, to watch movies and stuff like that, and I live by myself. But look at this. So this is all off styrofoam, and the projector I'm using, I've suggested a few people for this projector. This is a projector I paid about 90 bucks for. The stand I paid about 100, but I paid $90 for it. This is an Epson 585W. It does have HDMI's in the back of it. It's about 10,000 to one contrast and 3,600 lumens. Looks fantastic on our screen paint. And then over there on the 135 inch screen is my Optima GT5600 right there. And in here, my Sony uh, VPL FH30. I'm not going to be doing any demonstrations on the deck tonight, but just wanted to show you this. How amazing the technology looks. And the angle gain. I'm really tired. Just to show you how amazing that looks. So, like I said, I can be here in a fully lit environment, and my screens will pull up with no problem whatsoever. Look at that. So, also too, we're having uh, we changed the price on the nine. So the nine is no longer because I was trying to figure out because customers were saying it was too much paint. And if you saw that demonstration where I painted my 126 outside, I used one quart, and I was able to do 126 with no problem, which. We marked it at 120, which we're going to change that to 126. And the two quarts, I'm, I know you can definitely get 150 out of it. The reason why it was changed to 100 was to change 100. Well, the reason why it was 140, because when you use a, a paint sprayer, you do use more paint. You do use a lot of paint when you're using a paint sprayer. So that's why when we first developed the 12, it was designed to be a spray-on application only, and the surface had to be prime. It wasn't weatherproof. And now we got it tweaked to where it is weatherproof. Uh, you don't have to prime and you can either spray or roll, it's up to you. But because you can roll, you get more out of it. But like I said, with our technology, as you can see, it looks absolutely incredible. You don't have to have a really expensive projector to utilize our technology. I like these particular projectors because the way they stand upward, I can actually, well, this, I like these projectors because I can put the stand on it and I can give it that downward kind of uh, projection, which I like doing a downward projection. It's pretty nice. This is also fantastic if you decide, set, decide to do some form of abstract art. Okay, you gotta excuse my area over here because like I said, I was over there resting. And I hooked this up and I'm thinking like, you know what, this would be really cool to show up on YouTube. Let me show you something cool. So, that's why I'm doing the video of it now. I thought it'd be really cool to show it to you.
and like I said, the screen is jet black, but the beautiful thing about the 12, it does have the capability of producing very, very high white levels, and those white levels allow the screen to be able to produce beautiful natural colors, as you saw I displayed on the outdoor screen outside, and then in here I did the, out, I did the outdoor screen inside using the 720p projector. This projector too is also just a 720p projector. To show you don't have to have a lot of money to, you know, you don't have to have, spend a lot of money to have an amazing screen. This is 9 technology on Optima GT5600. That's when they, when they tell you that you can't have a screen size bigger than a hundred inch on the Optima GT is because they're not using our technology. Our technology will allow you to be able to produce an image bigger than that hundred inch screen that basically uh, is uh, recommended to get the best picture quality out of an Optima GT 55 or 56. Look how beautiful that looks. Now I'm going to take this image and I'm going to stop it there. And I'm going to come over to here because now I got it stopped over here. I'm going to come over here and bring it up on my screen right there. Just switching it from the Chromecast as well. And there it is on my um, 135 inch off the Chromecast. Now, like I said, we changed the price over because at first the two quarts were around 100, 100 the two quarts were 178, and that was a promotional deal, but I wanted to change it so. Uh, we can make it so everybody could afford it. You know, just keep it at that price we had it at because I didn't want to make it any higher than what it was. I just wanted to keep it at the price it was. So, uh, like I said, some customers felt that it was just too much paint for them. So I thought the best thing to do was to um, was to keep the. Uh, sorry about that. I'm going through videos right now, checking out something real quick. To keep the uh, two quarts at 178. And then we make the one quart for $148. That way, you don't. Um, that way, you don't. Um, you don't lose anything. You know, I mean, you're not. We're not charging you any more. This would look really cool over here. That underwater set, that would look really cool. The bubbling, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch that over for a minute. That would look really cool over here. I'll disconnect it from there. See if mine comes up on this side. Now my basement. This one's not pulling up, I don't know why, but it would look really cool. I'm going to do the bubbling one on this one. If I can get it to come up, I'm going to do the bubbling one on that one, because that looks really cool. Oh, it disconnected. That's what it was. All right, I got to wait for that one to connect. That's what it was. I was wondering why it wasn't coming up. I wasn't seeing it here in the feed, and I was wondering what's going on. All right, so we got a connection issue with that one. And I'll just unplug it, put it back in. Oh, nope, it's connecting again. There we go, we're back on. I want to see what that looks like on this side, but the bubble's coming up. Oh, that looks freaking cool. Especially when it's on the floor.
Yeah, I just wanted to see what that would look like. That looks pretty cool. All right. Sorry about the finger being in the way. Like I said, styrofoam. Yeah, that beautiful looks. 720p. And I'm going to disconnect from there and bring this back up onto the basement. This is on the nine. I think that's the reason why a lot of people go near that we max or the valve projector because that projector says it's going to give you 150 inches and they really think they're going to get 150 inch out of that. They're not going to get that out of that screen. It's going to basically deteriorate because already it's using pixel shifting to try to give you the image of 4K so you're really putting a lot of stress if you're going to pull that out to 150 inches and try to use pixel shifting at the same time. So I'm just showing that out of an Optima GT5600 uh, or 5500, you can get 135 to 140 inch screen. I've done them already before. I mean, I'm doing on 135 inch right now. It's just that our technology allows you to be able to do that. So consider the fact that what screens cost today, you know, I mean, if you want to get a really high, a good professional screen, you're talking about a good maybe four or five grand at the most. These, this screen paint is weatherproof. It's ultra short though compatible. You don't have to worry about having a special uh, screen because you need it to be, for it to work on your ultra short though, it'll work on ultra short though due to the fact that it, it has that compatibility. Look at this. Look at this from the side. You don't have to worry about the screen washing out. You don't have to worry about the screen fading. Look how beautiful it looks. This is nine technology. And keep in mind, $148, one quart of painted screen size up to 120 inch, about 100 inch to 120 inch. All right, so let's go back over here. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here real quick. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Thank you all for your time. Um, let me show you, cause some people like think, will think that, you know, if I, got, I don't show them that this is not styrofoam, but yep, this is a screen made out of styrofoam. Right there. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I gotta go. And God bless.